This is Malta, situated in the centre of the Mediterranean, 90 kilometres south of Sicily and around 330 kilometres north of Libya. Malta covers almost 320 square kilometres in terms of land area, making it one of the world's smallest states. It's also one of the most densely populated countries worldwide. But Malta is not only a busy, bustling place on the land. At sea, Malta is teeming with life, and nowhere more so than around Gozo, Malta's smaller sister island, where the sea is home to literally thousands of species, especially here at Dueira one of the most popular diving spots in the entire Mediterranean and also home to the inland sea. Thankfully, on calm days like today, small boats can pass easily through an opening formed by a narrow natural arch linking the small inland sea to the Mediterranean. It allows divers and us to get a glimpse of what really goes on under the waves. This unusual-looking lump of rock is known locally as crocodile rock because of its shape. It basically acts like a big wall, dividing two sets of species of sea creatures and sea vegetation. On one side are the sun worshippers. They thrive on the feeling of the sun's rays on them. And on the other side, the shade lovers. The shade-loving species of red algae, crustaceans such as lobsters, as well as false coral and many sponges, have adapted over millions of years to be able to cope with life in relative darkness. This serious-looking dusky grouper is a solitary fish. It lives in crevices within rocky bottoms. It's an insatiable feeder, reaching weights of up to 50 kilograms. And it's one of the most characteristic species of the central Mediterranean. And all this food doesn't go unnoticed. These long, thin, fierce-looking fish are called barracudas. Barracudas are voracious, opportunistic predators, relying on surprise and short bursts of speed to overtake their prey, normally smaller fish. The body of the barracuda is streamlined so it can chase prey at high speed. Adults of most species of barracuda are more or less solitary, while juvenile individuals like these ones frequently hunt in large shoals. And the area around Gozo is a great place to hunt. But the barracudas are not the only hunters around. These are blue runners, and they love to wear as shallow waters as a great food market. As well as various fish, they also feed on plankton like these graceful colonies of salps. For the curious visitor who would dare to go a little deeper, the sea around Gozo often offers great rewards, like this, a tube sponge. In many ways, it resembles a large cactus in a desert, except that this particular sponge is found at depths of more than 40 meters. While Duera is full of sea life during the daytime, it's positively bustling at night.
nocturnal creatures use the cover of darkness to hunt food and also to avoid potential predators. This brittle star is hungry. It spends the night scurrying around, searching for his next meal and for somewhere safe and quiet and out of harm's way to sleep it off during the day. Tube worms are also found at Dwera. This beautiful organism relies on small planktonic organisms which currents happen to bring their way. And in fact, they love strong currents which help them capture their prey suspended in the water with their delicate tentacles. Another colourful creature found commonly in the seas around Malta and Gozo, especially here at Dwera, is the bearded fireworm. They can grow up to 35 centimetres in length and they have poisonous white bristles on each side which flare out when the worm feels threatened. Try to avoid touching them as they have a nasty sting which causes a painful burning sensation. One of the protected species in the sea off Dwera is this, the long-spined sea urchin. These spines protect them from harm and help them move around. They're sensitive to light and much prefer to roam around at night to find algae and sponges to feed on. Above this impressive reef of green algae, an extraordinary event is taking place. The daily upward migration of one of the most important life bringers in oceans around the world, zooplankton, or small shrimp-like crustaceans. On a night visit into a cave next to the inland sea, you'll see plenty of hermit crabs and shrimps. And watch out for this spoonworm who retracts rapidly when disturbed. Because of Gozo's unusual geology, both above and below sea level, Dwera has a fantastic submerged landscape that provides the diver with stunning, almost out-of-this-world scenery and a huge range of sea life. Going straight down the spectacular blue hole, you swim into the huge gaping opening of Coral Cave, whose hanging lace coral branches make it a unique dive spot on the islands. These red mullets have formed a small shoal while they dig through the sandy, muddy and gravel grounds in search of food. They're easy to spot as they have bright red or orange lines along their body crossing their eye. This rainbow wrasse lives in shallow waters. It feeds on things like small gastropods and sea urchins and shrimps. At night, or when it's frightened, it buries itself in the sand. Just follow this curious painted comber that always leaves telltale signs that something is going on in the neighborhood. The moray eel spends most of its time hiding between rocks like this, and it hunts at night. It's a fierce predator, and it's not easily scared away. As we've seen, the sea surrounding Gozo is blessed with a stunning coastline and equally stunning marine life. With water visibility often in excess of 40 meters, the island has some of the best diving conditions in the Mediterranean.
Malta tells us a story off the Mediterranean that once was, and only with care and respect can we preserve it for generations to come.